doing things to prove yourself to other people. Maybe it works for some people, but I think the best feeling is when you do something for yourself. All I can really control is whatever I'm doing and what I want to do. This is like when she was in high school. This is when she won the state championship. We, we were watching it and we didn't even know she won. Her coach came running up to us and said, hey, she just she just won the state champ. We're going, what? Those are some of the magazines now that she's, you know, doing some work. I don't know if you remember the story of her all over the internet when she was in high school as a, as a senior. Some guy took this photo of photographer. Somehow it was posted on the internet and all of a sudden thousands of hits. So anyway, that was kind of interesting and, you know, troublesome at the same time to her. That photo came out in high school, I think it was like 2007. It was like being reposted on website after website. Like I went on Facebook one day and had infinity sign friend requests, which I didn't know was possible. It wasn't entirely negative, it was just confusing. You know, people that I knew before treated me differently. I mean, I think it's hard to see the fact that people see you like that. I'd be at track meets and there'd be a photographer like under me. And uh, that, that was kind of disturbing to me at the time. But I think I got to a point where I finally like accepted it. But I think I tried really hard to prove that I was more than just a pretty face. I don't think you should ever have to try to prove that to anybody or to prove anything to anybody. I got started through gymnastics. I did like nine or 10 years of competitive gymnastics. And when I was kind of thinking about retiring, one of my teammates at the time came to practice and she's like, hey, I started pole vaulting. She's like, well, I can jump over Shaq now. And uh, no way. I soon realized that jumping over Shaq isn't that high, but it's still really cool and uh, kind of worked out. College experience was different. You're at a whole new level. I started seeing myself on national rankings and, and that was kind of a different feeling. It said a lot to me that like I can learn quick and um, there is a future in it. Women's athletics has changed a lot in the, the way that people perceive it. Pole vaulting wasn't an Olympic sport for women until 2000. The fact that it's come this far in such a short period of time, it's such a cool thing for women in general. We're showing the world that there's so much that we can do that everyone said we couldn't do before. I think there are some sports where, or I know there are some sports where there, there is that financial benefit, that, that kind of glamour that attracts people to it. Pole vaulting, a lot of people are paying for themselves to be out here. There's not, you know, some big shoe sponsor that's like, hey, we'll pay for your training out here. Do you guys have, um... There's not much of a reward financially. There's not much of a, a glamour to it, essentially. This is part of it. The tiny little steps in pole vaulting are physical stuff and it's mental stuff too, from start to finish. It was like at takeoff that yeah. I decided not to go. I can be pretty self-critical. I'm only paying attention to the bad ones. 
from like stepping onto the runway, the way you're holding the pole, your hand positioning, the way you drop the pole, getting your focus right. That tunnel vision. You have to be able to control that. I focus on those bad ones and want to perfect those. I have made it a point to find something good about every day on the track. And I think those are those days where you just kind of let go. There is that perfect jump that you don't see every day. Right now, I have a couple of things I'm dedicating my focus to. I'm putting a lot of time to track. That takes up a lot of my time, a lot of my energy, but same thing with the sports modeling side. Those are two very important parts of my life, and I'm glad I'm still able to do both. This year is a little bit of a crossroads. I think I have two big parts of my life that I have been pursuing, and clearly it's a big year for one of those parts with pole vaulting, and I think it's definitely something that's made me think a lot about what I want to do after. A lot of the big decisions that you make in your life. I don't think there's necessarily a right or a wrong because the decision that you do make is the right one because you chose to make it. This sport has been really mentally tough for me. I need to step up my dives like consistently nines, which is almost perfect. That's what motivates every athlete at this level, the thought of winning a medal. 